Hello, it's Mama G Gear here again. And can you tell where we are? Haven't been here in a while. We've got Hamish and come here, Dukes and Doogly. But guess who's missing? Hmm, I wonder where she could be. Oh, we've got a goat. We got a b -b 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 Bailey hat goat, and it's hello, my Rusty wearing the head Bailey hat goat. I just lost Hi, my Rusty. page in the book. Oh well, it's because we have dogs in the house. I'm back. She's Gosh. back. Yeah, it's been a while, folks. Sorry. Hi, yarny peeps, non-yarny peepers. All and, has been and well. And dog lovers. I like to be a part of our show. Yeah, and then she has some company, so and and I mean, Thanksgiving holiday, and you know, well, we don't really celebrate Thanksgiving. But. I'm just scrolling because I knocked this off, and yeah. the page I had the pen in was the page we're going to talk about today. Twenty six. No, that was a different page. Oh, I well. found it, but I found it when you were saying that. Oh, I I will that to happen. So hello, my beautiful humans. I have missed you. Yes. Um, sorry again that my page doesn't get anything, but I haven't upgraded my phone yet, so I'm still on like not trying to play that game because it doesn't want to work. Yeah. I've also chopped all my hair off. Yes. She's Late hairless. One night in the bathroom recently because it's hair, and you know what? It grows back. So it does. Cares? That's it why does. I have fun with it. I do like this double swoosh. Like the wind is blowing my hair. This oh direction. yeah, it does see do that? that. It looks like it's being blown by unseen winds. So, um, I don't know if you can see, we both have our warm hats Burn, on today, because, because we are surviving the already winter that yes. is happening up here. Up here. Um, actually, today it's not that bad, and all the snow has yeah. melted, but there was snow. Yesterday was gorgeous. There was but, snow. Yeah. But it did, we did get about a foot. So we're going to talk about survival. Yeah, we did. We had a decent amount of snow here. So we're going to talk about survival, and I haven't had one of my survival books. Oh. Um, some people laugh at me for buying survival books, because you could just Google it. Well, if I need this book, because... Uh, Solar flare happened and we have no electricity. I'm not going to be yeah. able to Google it. Yeah. So books and board games are very key to surviving. But we're going to talk about something that I think is very important. And being that we're close to Black Friday and the reason I own so many first aid kits is because it's important <laughs> to discuss with your partner your Black Friday purchases. Yes. Um, Before you make We them. each bought two first aid kits. One from Wish, one you from somewhere else. Closer. And... Um, yeah, so now we have a ton of first aid kits in the house, but that's not a problem because they're really good to have, and I use them all the time. And I don't have one, so I can always come over here and borrow yes. one of hers. To the point of where somebody burnt their finger at one of my gatherings here, and I was out there like, walk into the house. There's a first aid kit on top of the safe. There's a first aid kit right by the front door. There's one in the bathroom. And depending on your first aid kit and its purposes would be stuff you would have in them. So I'm going to unbox one of these today. Um, but I do want to touch on, like, if you're going to have a car first aid kit, that should have a flare in it. If you're going to have a hiking first aid kit, that should have some, probably also a flare or something like, you know, cater it to your needs. A compass. If you're out in the yeah, woods. a compass would be a very good, that's actually really good, a good first aid kit. Gotta We're going to open use it, one of my home first aid kits. So it's going to have a little bit of everything. You could lift it if you want. Oh. You always want to have band aids, band -Aids. gauze oh, pads. Gauze. Yeah, they're, um, important. they're important, and we've got gauze pads and multiple different yeah, packs in here. Gauze pads in here. One packet of cotton. Back. I like how you're just guessing with things. These are rubber gloves. Oh, okay. It's not cotton. cotton. <laughs> you can tell I don't have a first aid kit. I've got a pair of those crazy safety scissors. These Ooh. actually are specific. I'm going to open this pack. I was just going to ask you to do that so I could see them. So you might see these Weird. in the movies or being used in hospitals. It is... A safety scissor so I can stick this up against your chest and when people are in an accident they just rip the clothes off of them they cut them so yes. that's why they don't cut the people that's because yeah because as you can see it's got a knobby thing there's a knob part there's this rounded edge this isn't sharp see I'm not cutting my hand yeah but it's got little teeth on it so it rips through fabric really well so these are actually Yes. The ultimate safety scissors. It's to safely remove clothing off of someone to save their life. I wonder if this was the original safety scissor and then they'd use this concept to make child safety kids scissors. Safety scissors. Probably. It would make sense that this would have came first. You know, because we didn't really yeah. care about kids back when like you, That's you, our you guess. guys used to like play on like metal. Of course we're not medically trained or Oh yeah, this is anything. all just <laughs> we're just going through the motions. Then I've got so this one's got a lot of stuff, like having an ice pack. Squeeze, instant freeze. Yes. That's a really important thing to do. Here's something I added to it. 
Glow stick. Glow stick. That's a really simple thing you wouldn't even think of. Like maybe my flashlight doesn't have batteries. Maybe yes. something else is happening. Or someone's looking for you, you can click that and they can see the glow. Then I've got basic things like a home kit. This oh, is just sewing. a tiny little sewing kit. Yeah. Really you not a, a first aid a need, button. but if I had fishing line or an emergency, I could literally you could stitch fish a human with, with this or fish with this. I mean, it, yeah. so it's key things. Here's something that you put over your mouth if you're going to do mouth to mouth. Oh, to somebody that you don't know. Yeah. Well, maybe you probably should use it for anybody. True. Um, Little cloths. packets. Yes. I thought they were Antiseptic. Oh, antiseptic wipes. Triangle bandage. Um, this is a nice oh. thing to have, but also a really easy one like to make. Sling? Yeah, it's basically you just it's a triangular piece of cloth. Okay. And it the big part of the triangle goes here and the two tiny parts get pinned up around your arm. Okay. Super so easy fix, but I could take your shirt and do that. and do the same thing. So like we have it, it came with the first aid kit. So if you don't have one in yours, it's not don't fret. Then I mean you always want your basics, band-aids. I've modified this one. I've added safety Definitely pins. Safety pins. You, yes. you could do a lot more than you think. I'm noticing right now my duct tape is missing, but I usually have a little bit of duct tape in here. Um, you can fix so much with duct tape. Emergency blanket. That Those are could, cool. It, it could be a life-saving thing. I know. That little thing can generate so much heat. It's amazing. I have a bunch of those at home. And then I've got... Little blow-up whoopee cushions? Compostable disposable bags. Who knows what I might need to do with this? Do I have oh. to wrap something up that I'm going to have to put somewhere? Do I? It just so it's compostable in the sense that, that if I drop left this out in the out, woods, yes, it's, it would it eventually would just become part of the nature. Okay, so it's not like plastic. Yeah, so it's safety plastic. I don't know. I don't have an actual purpose for this, but there could be. Hey, maybe I cut my finger off and I need to stick it in here until we get to the hospital to try to sew my finger back on. You know, you never know. You yeah. never know what these are going to happen. I've got Q-tips in here. I've got more disposable gloves. I got backup. I actually have my compass in here. I'm so, I'm waiting for one thing that I don't see in her thing yet. Well, we probably used it already because this is the most used first aid kit that we own at the moment. Tweezers. But, yeah, the tweezers are missing. That is very true. The tweezers are in my bathroom. Tweezers are good to have because, you know, it slivers and... Oh, this one's got something really super special in it. This one has tweezers. Okay. So... Um, then here is like a travel one. I mean, I've got another set of scissors. We've got a moisture cream. Like, I know that seems silly, but you're trapped out in the woods. Maybe your lips are yeah. completely chapped. A little bit of this can help. But I also have some whiskey. Gotta have seems whiskey. silly, but hey. No, whiskey, whiskey actually... vodka, things like that. You could potentially drink it if you need to drink you can pour yeah. it over something but it also doesn't it also serve as an antiseptic yes it can so you can use it as an antiseptic in some liquors um this is depending a on their one. proof stuff uh you could set on fire that so you can true. use it to start a fire um one thing i want to add to both of these is crayons speaking of fire um, a crayon will burn for about 20 to 30 minutes so you could take a crayon and take the paper off of it and if you don't have a candle you can literally light your crayon i did not know that yeah Fun facts. So don't throw the kids' crayons out. This Save one them. is my hiking one, and this is a whistle. Oh. That's a very important thing to have in a hiking bag, because you never know when you have to try to find people. Or if you're hiking next to a construction site and the guys are whistling at you, you could whistle you back. You can whistle back. So I think I've got... So some of the things I don't have that I need to replenish, that um, my handy-dandy... You could just Google it book. Always good to have that um, so like Neosporin, I don't have any sort of thing like that in there. I did. I'm assuming that that got used during the last fire Probably. incident. Yeah. Probably not. But Will, if you're watching this, did you use my Neosporin? I'm just kidding. I think. <laughs> well, where'd you beforehand. put the Neosporin? I am outing you on the one that burnt your finger, though. Yeah, outed. absolutely. Consider yourself out. But outed. he was very good about it, didn't he? Just to very good it. about it. He just yeah. didn't even tell me what was happening. He's like, "You have a first aid kit," and I was like, "I'm just gonna let you go do deal with that." Yeah. Um, and then you got stuff like what else don't I have in here? So this I have wipes. I don't have any aloe in here, but aloe is a nice thing to have. Yeah, especially if it's sunny out and you're stuck and you start burning, like sunburn. I didn't pull it out, but the medical tape, that would be something yeah. you use with your gauze. Um, yeah, it looks like you got you have most everything that I'm seeing pictured here. I don't have the splint materials to make like an actual, like, if I broke a finger or an arm, but then that's something you consider. So, but if you had tape, you just use a stick out in the woods. Yeah. So if you, you can use a stick out in the woods, um, uh, rulers, 12 inch rulers. 
Move you probably have a plastic or wooden one somewhere around. That That's a very easy thing to use if you break an arm yeah. and need to splint it. Again, I am not a medical professional. No, these, these are just, just, just tips and suggestions. You know, hey, in, in a pinch, it works. So yeah, it's good to have it's good to have these. It's good to make them. I never go hiking without a few key things that's because smart. I haven't had to yet. But you the day know. can come that I cut myself more than just a little bit of tape. Yeah, safe than sorry, you know. Absolutely. So yeah, go by. Think of what else? I'm looking for a nice Christmas gift for a it not a, child. Yeah, give them a it, first aid kit. It is a good Even idea. Even because. Yeah, I have this first aid kit. Yeah, I have this first aid kit. Yes, there's two more somewhere else in the house. But yeah. <coughs> they could all still be useful. And hint, hint, if you're giving it as a Christmas present to someone who doesn't have a first aid kit. I already got you a Christmas gift. Oh. We can, uh, we can unbox those today. It's, it's, a, it's a little thing, but it, she's going to like it. I'm going to like it. But yeah, so some of the key factors, like Q-tips I didn't bring up, but those are under here. Maybe I did. Because if you had something in your eye, you know, like they even have those little water, the cups that you put water in and, you know. Our life straws aren't in here. Life straws. Because our life that. straws are in our bug out bags. Yeah. The step beyond the yeah, first aid kit. Yeah. These are things you would travel with in certain areas. Like she said, home or camp or hiking or in your if vehicle. You, like your vehicle one, another thing that you should have in there are going to be um, jumper cables. Even if you don't know how to use them. Right. Figure out how to use them. I can do a how-to video on that. Or yes. feel free to comment. I'll walk you through it. Yeah. But um, yeah, jumper cables are key. Um, it's cones. Those little tiny cones. You can use them. They flip upside down. You can cones. use it as... Um, if you need to pour a liquid, like oil or something in, but you can also oh. put them out on either side of your car if you're stranded on the side of the road. Yep. Flares, you said that already. Yeah. yeah. Safety first. Always safety first, because we want you to be safe and happy and no big boo-boos. Is that our end of our, our I think thing? that might be it. Say say bye-bye to ba 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 baileys well, Hey, wait, make a goat noise. <laughs> I don't even know what goats sound like. <laughs> Love you. <laughs>